Hey y'all, welcome to today's video. So, I'm so excited because I got DM'd on Instagram from a makeup company that wanted to collab with me. They wanted me to promote their makeup or whatever. And so I was like, I don't know if I trust this or not, but I had heard of the company before specifically for their lip products. And so I was like, is this legit? Is this the actual company? Is this a scam? Like, I don't know because I've gotten scanned before and that's a whole nother story, but they actually sent me stuff. I'm so excited. The name of the brand is Mellow Cosmetics and I just got my package in the mail. They gave me my own link. So if you shop through my link, I'll post that down below in the description. But if you shop through my link, I will get a small percentage of the sales. I have never used this brand before. I have heard of them, but I've never tried it. So we're gonna try it out and we're gonna see whether it's a hit or a flop. So I'm not gonna be biased just because they gave me this referral link for y'all to shop through. I'm gonna be completely honest. If the products are terrible, I'm gonna tell you because I'm not gonna promote something that I wouldn't wanna use myself. So also they're having a sale right now. So if we do decide to like these products, they have a coupon code right now Lippies, L-I-P-P-I-E-S, and you get buy one, get one free on all their lip products. A little bit of backstory about this brand. They are based in Australia. They are clean beauty, so they're cruelty free. They're vegan, no parabens. They ship worldwide. They were featured in the 2018 Birchbox best-selling lipstick. They have also been featured in the Daily Mail Australia as well as the Herald Australia. So more of their press kind of comes from Australia because that's where they're based. But like I said, they ship worldwide. So here's my box of goodies. Let's open it up. So this is what the inside looks like. Here's all my goodies. Up first, I think we're going to look at the lip products because I got so many. So I got five lip products here. The first one I'm going to show you, this is their lip pencil. All right, mine is in the shade Rose. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch everything before we use it just so we can kind of see what we're working with before we get started. That's a very pretty, very pretty color. Like that looks like the color that I use all the time on my lips. And it went on really creamy and smooth. So hopefully we like it. Up next, I got two of their matte liquid lip paints. I got the shade Florence and Ibiza. So this is what they look like. They're very pretty. And this is the shade Florence. We're going to swatch that. So there you can see that. It's very similar to the lip liner color. And it doesn't really have a smell. Okay, the next shade is Ibiza. This is what it looks like. It looks a little darker maybe. Very close, just a smidge more, I'd say more purpley and a little darker. Then I got the, what is this? This is the Liquid Lip Gloss and it's a collaboration that they did with Pia. I looked it up because I didn't know who Pia was, but she is a huge influencer over there. So they did a collaboration with Pia and this is the Liquid Gloss and mine is in the shade Palm Springs. So let's see what this looks like. Okay, so it's a very pretty color. Ooh, I love that color. So you can see it's a lighter color from the other ones and it's going to stay. The other ones are already turning matte. This one is supposedly a gloss, so it's going to stay glossy. That is very pretty. We might have to use that today. Okay. And then I got the ultra matte lipstick. I got the shade Posh. Cute little lipstick. Look how cute this is. Okay. Oh, and it's got the little, it's got the little mellow, I don't know if y'all can see, but it's got like mellow engraved or stamped into the lipstick right here, which is cute. Very pretty packaging. Okay, so that's the lipstick there. Again, that's a very pretty color. It went on super creamy. It has a really good scent. It's not strong at all. It kind of reminds me. 
I don't know, it kind of reminds me of the, kind of smells like coconut. Kind of smells a little beachy almost, but it just has like a very, very light, fresh scent, which I like a lot. That's all I got for the lip products. Next, um, this is the Brow Definer. I got the shade Mocha. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And you've got a spoolie on one end, which is nice. And then on the other end, it rolls up and you've got your brow pencil, which I really like the shape of this one. Um, it looks like you can really get some fine strokes in there, which is always good. And the color, let's swatch the color. The color looks like it's going to be a really good color for my brows. Okay, so there's the color. It looks like it's going to match really well for me. It's not too red. It's not too warm or too cool. It's just kind of a good neutral brown, which is nice. Again, that was in the shade Mocha. All right, for eyeliner, I got the Precision Pen Eyeliner. This is what it looks like. It's got this plastic wrap on it. So let's peel that. Okay, come on. Ooh, okay, that's the tip of it. Y'all know I love me a good, like, felt tip marker eyeliner. So, hopefully we like this one. Ooh, and it's very black. Do y'all see that? And it just went on super well. I am so excited about this stuff. I hope that I really like this stuff. Precision pen eyeliner. Okay. And I also got a mineral eyeliner. It's a gel eyeliner. I got this one because I like to use a gel for the bottom lid or for the waterline. This is the mineral eyeliner. This is what it looks like. It rolls up. Okay, let's swatch that. Okay, so there's that one. It's a little more chunky than the liquid one, obviously, because it's a pencil, but we'll see how we like it when we try it out. For eyeshadow, this palette looked insanely gorgeous. It's called, I think you pronounce it, Sinopia. These are the colors on the back here. Y'all look at this. It's got a mirror, which is nice, but look. Ooh. Okay, so look how gorgeous these colors are. This blue throws me off. I do not, I don't think I've ever worn blue eyeshadow and I probably never will. Just, that's just my preference. But if we block that one out, I almost, it just distracts me. Like I almost wish I could just take that one out. Look how gorgeous the rest of these are. They're all just pretty warm tones right up my alley. This is exactly what I love. We've got some pretty neutrals, some pinkish, some orangey. I just love these colors. Let's swatch a few of these. I'll swatch a shimmer, a nude, swatch the orangey one and the pinkish one. Ooh, y'all look. What is on my finger? Eyeliner. Look at this, y'all. Oh my goodness. Are y'all seeing? Y'all. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe I've never tried this stuff. Like, y'all, okay. I'm getting more and more excited the more I look at this stuff. Like, I really hope I like it, but that looks awesome. All right, and then we also got the Glitter Chrome eyeshadow. This is something I've seen a lot. A lot of people seem to be like shocked at how good it works, but let's see. I got the color Champagne. It's like a really pretty nudish pink. And can we just talk about how cute, how cute is this little packaging? This reminds me a lot of the Tarte glitter eyeshadow that I have. Where are you? Yes. Look, y'all. This one is from Tarte. Ugh, it's dirty. But this one is from Tarte. And this one is the Mellow. Very similar. Anyways, I also read that this little thing in here you're supposed to put back after you use it. I guess it keeps the product from drying out. So if you do buy this, don't throw this little pack. plastic piece away um, because you're supposed to put it back. Look how pretty. Let's swatch that. Ooh, and it feels super like velvety. Y'all. Look at it. It looks very similar to this color that I swatched. Look how pretty, y'all. I am so excited about this. <laughs> and the last product that I got is the Stardust Glow Palette. 
how cute this little I love this like nudish pink peachy color and the gold the rose gold so pretty it's got a little chart on the back that tells you the colors basically it's a face palette it's got a nice big mirror on it and then look at these colors so you've got two highlight colors up at the top you've got a blush and then a bronzer very pretty let's swatch these Ooh, they feel so creamy okay so we've got the bronzer this is the two highlights Ooh, those look really pretty and then the blush very pretty okay as far as a full face they don't have foundation concealer or setting powder or mascara they're mainly eye and lip products with the exception of like this face palette what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and put on some foundation concealer and setting powder and then we'll come back and we'll test out all this makeup and see what we think i'll be right back Okay, so I'm back. I got my face makeup on for the most part. I just went in with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Natural Beige. And then I went in with my Born This Way concealer in the shade Fairest. Then I went in with the Born This Way setting powder in the shade Translucent. Also, I got these little clips. They're supposed to be like no crease clips so they don't leave a crease in your hair when you're doing your makeup, which is really nice. Um, I see a lot of like celebrity makeup artists using these on celebrities when they're doing their makeup But I got these off Amazon, so I'll link those below if you're interested Up first, we're gonna go in with the face palette and I'm just gonna go in with my contour bronzer brush And we're gonna dip into the first shade, which is this one down here called dawn and we're gonna try to bronze Whoa, okay It's pigmented Contour out the face a little bit. So go in with the light hand because this stuff is very pigmented. I do think the color is really pretty though. I will say that. Okay, so far I like that. Let's go in and contour the nose. This is my little flat brush that I use. I go into that bronzer again. I feel like this bronzer would be a really good eyeshadow shade too. Like if you're in a hurry and you use bronzer for eyeshadow like I do a lot of times, this looks like it would be a really good one to use that for. So far I'm liking it. Next we're gonna go in with blush. So I'm gonna take my Sigma Large Angled Contour, the F40. We're gonna go into that blush color called Delta. Woo, very pigmented, wow. Be very light-handed with this stuff because it works. It reminds me of the e.l.f. <laughs> the e.l.f. bronzer and blush, the primer infused that I just did in my recent video. Um, Y'all go check that out if you hadn't. But it was super pigmented like this. Wow. Okay. Very bright blush. Hopefully, once we get the eyes done, it'll kind of not be so loud. We're gonna save the highlight for the end, which is what I always do. So we'll come back to that. Up next, I wanna go in and do the brows. So we're gonna go in with our brow definer pencil. First, I'm gonna use this spoolie and kinda just comb up my brows a little bit. Then let's go in with the pencil. So because of the shape of this thing, got like a fat side and a thin side. So depending on which end you use, you can do like a thin stroke or a thick stroke, which could be nice. Just a little odd to work with in my opinion. The formula is a little, I don't know, waxy. It's not my favorite. It's not my favorite for brows. Not crazy about, not crazy about this brow pencil. All right, I'm gonna go in and do the other brow off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Brows are done. Again, the brow product is not my favorite. Um, I don't know, it was kind of getting hard to work with. You can see like in the beginning of this brow, it started getting a little waxy. So like where I was putting it on, it was just kind of like wiping the product off instead of layering and making it darker. 
that was kind of removing the product underneath. Just kind of making like a bald spot almost. So not my favorite eyebrow pencil. Okay, up next we're going to go in with the eyeshadow. I'm so excited about this eyeshadow, y'all. So here's our pretty palette. Um, if we don't look at the blue, because the blue really throws me off. Oh my gosh, these warm tones are so pretty. Okay, so I think I'm going to go in first with my Sigma E40, my blending brush, and which color do I want to use? Hmm. I think I'm going to go today into this orange one that's called Brick. I don't know, it's standing out for me. And I'm going to go ahead and tap this off and go in with the super light hand because so far everything has been really pigmented. Yeah, very pigmented, which is good for eyeshadow because you want it to show up. So this, this is just going to be my transition shade. We're just going to kind of lay that down in the crease and then buff it out towards the top. Very pretty. Okay. Okay, so far I like that. Next, I'm going to go in to, okay, I think I want to go into this shade down here called Merlot. It's kind of like a wine shade, and we're going to put that on the outer corner. All right, that is looking really pretty so far. Next, I think I want to go into this shimmery, purpley, pinkish color, and it's called Current. And I just want to kind of blend that from the outer corner a little onto the lid. So I'm just gonna use my same brush and we're just gonna kind of tap that on. Then I really wanna try out this pretty champagne color here, the lighter color. I'm just gonna take my finger, get some of that, and we're gonna pop that onto the Oh, look how pretty. Very pretty. All right, then I'm just going to take my same blending brush I was using and just kind of clean up the edges a little bit. All right, then I'm going to go in with my Sigma pencil brush and we're going to go into that brick color that we used and we're going to go on the lower lid. Wow. Y'all look how pigmented this stuff is. Okay, then I'm going to go into the darker color, Merlot, again, and just put that on the outer corner of the lower lid. All right, I did have a little fallout here, so I'm just going to wipe that, dust that off with my big fluffy brush. Very pretty. All right, then I'm going to take my other pencil brush from Sigma that I use for my lighter colors, and I'm going to go into that same champagne color up there. I just realized that these are both called champagne. I wonder if it's the same color. Glitter Chrome Eyeshadow. Let's just have a look real quick. They look very similar. I don't know. I mean, when they were swatched on my hand, they looked pretty similar. Like that one and that one. They do look very similar but they have the same name, which is kind of weird. But anyways, we're gonna go into this one and we're gonna pop that on the inner corner. And then we're also gonna highlight the brow bone. Wow, that is like blinding. I really like the shadows. I think they work really well. They're really pretty. Okay, so next I wanna go in with this Glitter Chrome Eyeshadow in the shade Champagne. And we are gonna pop that. I'm just gonna use my finger and I wanna just pop that in the center and see. Okay, I'm seeing a little something. Yeah, it's definitely like pumping it up from what it was. Very pretty. Y'all, like, oh, so pretty. Love those. So, up next, we're going to try the eyeliners. So, I'm going to go in first with my Precision Pen Eyeliner. And we're going to do the top lid. Yes. 
Yes, I love a liner like this. Y'all already know, I love this eyeliner. What? How easy is that to use? Oh, I love it. That is a good liner. I like that liner a lot. Up next, I'm gonna go in the waterline with the mineral eyeliner, which is more of like a gel eyeliner. So let's go on the waterline and hope this stuff stays. If I don't poke my eye out. <sighs> oh, eyes are gonna start watering. Then we're really gonna test the eyeliner, see if it runs everywhere. Ah, just poked my eyeball. Okay, so we've got the waterline done. Um, they did not have a mascara, so I'm just going to go in with Old Faithful here, my Too Faced. Okay, so mascara is on, and I am loving this eyeshadow. Hmm. Very impressed so far. I mean, okay. Up next, I'm gonna do my setting spray, which they don't have, so I'm just gonna go in with my, I guess we'll go in with Too Faced since that's what we've been using for everything else. So I'll go in with my Too Faced Hangover and, and whoops. Okay, while that's still, ugh, get off me. While that's still a little damp, I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques setting brush and we're gonna jump into some highlighters. Which one should we use, y'all? I'm kind of feeling this, this warmer one. This one's a little more yellow, golden. This one's a little more like rose gold. This one's called Luna. Let's go into that one. Ooh. Wow. It smells like new tennis shoes. Like if you walk into rack room shoes, that's exactly what it smells like. Tennis shoes. What? Okay. I mean, I don't hate the smell. It smells like, it reminds me of like going back to school and picking out like new shoes for the school year. Y'all. What? Wow. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous. What in the world? Why have I never used this? Like, y'all. Do the cupid's bow, my chin, and then get my pencil brush and we'll go down the nose. Do the tip. I mean, wow. Blinded. Love. Cheekbones. Hello, cheekbones. All right, last we've got lips, and then we're done. Um, I'm gonna go in with my lip pencil in the shade Rose. Okay, love the liner. It goes on super smooth, but it looks like it's gonna stay really well. It's not too creamy, but it's like just the right consistency, and I like the color a lot. Which lip product should we use? So we had two mattes, we had the gloss, and then we had the lipstick. Hmm. I've heard really good things about their matte lips, so I think I want to try the matte lip today. So let's go in with the matte. This is in the shade Lawrence. Ooh. That is so pretty. Okay. It's not sticky at all. It just feels like your skin, but moisturized. Like it feels like your skin is just, it just feels good. And I feel like it makes your teeth look whiter too. That's a really pretty color. Okay. So I'm gonna finish it off with some spray. And I might go in, I wanna go in with my gloss, Palm Springs lip gloss. I think I'm just gonna put a little in the middle. <laughs> Oh yeah, just contour a little. That is so pretty, okay. Hopefully my creaseless clips worked. Okay, so this is the finished look. 
What do y'all think? I mean, that highlight is ridiculous. The eyeshadow, I think, is gorgeous. The liner, I loved. And the lip products, I really loved all of those. Only thing I did not like, to be completely honest, is... Where are you? If I had to pick two products that I would not recommend, was not crazy about the eyebrow pencil at all. I mean, now that the whole look is put together, it's not bad. I feel like the eyebrows don't look terrible. It's just not the consistency that I like to work with. And then this mineral eyeliner wasn't my favorite, but I mean, it worked. You can definitely see it. I just, between the two eyeliners, I would definitely recommend this one but that's just because I love this kind and I feel like it was so easy to use everything else I loved y'all like I would definitely recommend this face palette what in the world y'all that is so pretty and look how gorgeous this is they had two different ones they had one for light to medium skin um so this is the light to medium palette and then they had one with darker shades for medium to dark skin. Um, but I felt like the shades were too dark for me. So I went with the lighter one. And it was super pigmented. So, and then loved the eyeshadow palette. Obsessed. And the lip stuff. Loved. This, I feel like it was pretty. Maybe if I would have used it on top of a shade that wasn't so similar. Um, I mean, it definitely pumped it up a little more. It was pretty. If I had to pick, I would definitely get the lip products. I would definitely get this eyeshadow palette, the face palette, and this precision pen eyeliner is the bomb. That is my honest opinion on these products. Like I said, I will drop the link down below. So if you shop through my link, I will get credit for it. I'll get a small percentage. And yeah, also use the code Lippies, L-I-P-P-I-E-S, and you'll get buy one, get one free on your lip products, which these lip products are super nice. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe and click that notification bell so you can be notified of my future uploads. If you have tried Mellow Cosmetics, comment down below and let me know what you tried and what you liked. And if you have any questions, drop them down there as well. And thank y'all for watching. I'll see you in my next video.